and join it. And it's made here in Yorkshire. And it's just won first prize at the prestigious Northern Futures Awards, beating creative talent from across the north. But the most impressive thing about it is how and where it was made. Amanda Harp has been to find out. The astronomer's son tells the charming tale of a young man who visits an observatory and is confronted with memories of his past with just his small mechanical bear friend as company. We've got stars, we've got comets, um, and yet throughout all of that you've actually got a very human story which is about father, son, relationships, what it means to be human. Perhaps the real magic, though, lies in how it was made. The whole film was created in this modest shed in Ilkley, and it took a whole year to produce. On a good day, we would probably average four seconds a day. Mm. On a really good day, maybe six. On mm. a really bad day, nothing. You know, there'd be days where we've spent the whole day setting up, and yeah, mm. it's been too late. So you'd walk out and especially in winter, you'd we come in and it was sunshine and you'd walk out and it was pitch black outside and it really, it really kind of made you feel like you weren't living a normal existence, you know. And they've certainly impressed their audience so far. The astronomer's son has just won first prize at the prestigious Northern Futures Awards, beating off competition from across the north. And filmmaking isn't the only talent recognised by the Northern Futures Awards. Other categories include fashion, fine art and 3D design. And you can see it all here at the Civic in Barnsley. What we can see in this show, which is really, really exciting, is the new generation of, of artists and uh, 3D designers and fashion designers, so it's, it's getting early really and, uh, and see the work before it, it, it's world famous. The astronomer's son is being shown here in Barnsley, but its success means it's also travelling to film festivals across the world. Just don't forget, you saw it here first. Amanda Harper, BBC Look North.